And Chase is back. Back again. Chase is back. Tell a friend. Unless they're not a Bengals fan, then they're going to be upset and think that he was going to say it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so kind of what I've been saying, and I know Chad said he was going to sit out for the season if he doesn't have a new contract, but no, he's he's back. Jamar Chase is back to process, and he's processing. The whole point of sitting out training camp, well, not sitting out, but holding in, was just to try to force the Bengals' hand into giving him a new contract. That the whole that was the whole purpose, purpose, purpose. Um, but yeah, no, he's again. I know again, like I said, I know Chad thought that he was going to sit out the season if he doesn't get a new contract. I don't think that was ever in the cards for Chase. I think Chase just wanted to try to force the Bengals' hand. See if it would work. See if the Bengals would give up and eventually just give him a new contract. It doesn't work in the end here. You know, it is what it is. Chase ends up going ahead now and going back to Prasis, which, you know, works out for everyone here. Because now he gets to be ready for week one. And we get to start off the season on a positive note rather than on a, you know, kind of bad note. But with that being said, again, like I said before, I feel like this was this was kind of all part of the plan to the very beginning. Um, I don't know. It's one of those situations where it's like, I understand why some people are surprised. They're like, oh, he's back. This is huge news. Like, I don't really think that's that big of a news, to be honest. Just because, again, like I said, I think this was very much kind of expected based on how Jamar Chase situation was going. You know, he has two years left on his contract. He's not going to get a new con. It's not like he's on the last year of his contract, guys. He has two years left plus three franchise tags. There's not much area where Chase can really, he doesn't have that much leeway room, right? He doesn't have that much control in the end here. Yes, he could be like, hey, listen, I, I, I'm going to refuse to play or refuse, refuse to process because I want a new deal, blase, blase. But even then, there isn't really much wiggle room he has because he still has two years left on his contract. Plus, again, he does have the three franchise tag. So even if he was going all out and saying, you know what, no, I reject the off, I reject the, you know, odds of processing or even potentially playing in the season, he wouldn't really be helping himself out slash able to do so. So again, it's a situation we'll have to wait and see how it develops, but overall wise, I'm happy to have him back. I really am. Um, I said this before, and I think it's very true. It was almost like a hidden blessing in disguise. The fact that he did the hold in in training camp, it gave a lot more time for reps of other younger guys. And it also helped form a connection between Jermaine Burton and Joe Burrow, Mike Isicki, and so on, so on. So in the end, this might be a positive thing, I will say. With all the uh, negative things, you know, you could look at. But I think in the end, we're going to have a fantastic season. And I think this just starts off that season. Now, i like to give a huge shout out to um, DJ Reader. You guys remember DJ Reader? He passed his physical. And he is now officially not starting off the season on the pup list. He is starting off the season right away. And obviously, the speculation was, well, if he... If we didn't sign him, I mean, say so if we did sign him, there was a chance that he would start the season on the pup list, which is out for six weeks. Um, and, you know, that was like, okay, well, is he worth signing if he's 30 years old plus out for six weeks? Uh, but that's not the case now. He is going to be starting right away. He's going to be playing right away. And he really is going to probably have a fantastic, you know, season for the Detroit Lions. So, I'm not saying that because like I'm butthurt or anything. I'm upset. Trust me, I really did want to resign DJ Reader. I wanted to bring him back. Um, I thought he was a very key, you know, person in our defense. Obviously, I'm very happy now how it turned out. We got the mutant Chris Jenkins. We got Mc, um, we got Jackson. 
We also have BJ Hill. We got Sheldon Rankins and free agency. I'm very happy with how everything turned out in the end. But, um, yeah, no, I, I just want to go and give a huge shout out to not really, you know, again, like a butthurt comment, but more just, you know, shout out to him, man. I'm, I'm very happy for him. I wish him the best of luck. I wish him the best in his career over there in Detroit. Um, and I hope he has a fantastic, you know, run over there because, again, you know, all love to DJ Reader. And it sucks that he's not on our team anymore. But, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles. That's part of football and that's part of the industry. So, overall wise, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be